But today is an exciting day because me, my boyfriend, and my sister, we're going to see Young Miko tonight. <laughs> just left work and i also did a pilates class while i was there and oh my god it was really good but it is so hot so i, I literally took my shirt off so i'm like in my sports bra on my leggings right now but today is an exciting day because me my boyfriend and my sister we're going to see young miko tonight i'm so excited i haven't seen her in like literally a year but i'll talk a little bit more about that later but yeah i'm just so i'm so excited Honestly, I don't really have a lot to do today. I already cleaned my room this morning, kind of, sort of. Um, I really just have, like, stuff for school to do, like, prior to when classes start because, like, they start this week, which is, like, really scary. But, yeah, I'm gonna drive home, though, because I really just kind of want to shower and get some shit done. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at home. Okay, I just got home and I want to quickly show you guys um, a package that I got. I already opened it because I was really excited, but I got a package from Princess Polly and I just got two things. I got this like zebra print top. It's such a cute going out top. I honestly, I think it is a little weird that the strap is like all the way back here because I did try it on. It was like literally in my armpit. So I thought that was a little odd, but like it is so sexy and beautiful for going out. I've literally been waiting for this top to restock since they first launched it. They launched it like back in May or June, I think. And I almost ordered it, but I was like, no, I don't need it. Like, and then of course the next day it like completely sold out. I was like, oh. But they just restocked it and so I immediately ordered it and yeah, she's so cute. I did get a size eight for anyone who needs size reference. And then it's kind of the same story with this top. It, I thought I didn't need it, but then it completely sold out and then I realized that I really wanted it. So I just bought it as soon as it came back in stock. It's just this like jersey like top it's super cute i like am in love with the color red if you guys have seen my summer vlogs you would see that like a lot of the clothes i've been buying from princess polly have some sort of like red accent color to it i just think red looks really good on me i feel like it brings out my tan so i got this it's super cute i think this will be really easy to style especially for the school year for this i wanted an oversized look so i did get a size 10 and yeah it's super cute it kind of feels like like a swim material which i actually read that in the reviews and i was like what but i i get it now but it's super cute i love it i like that it's kind of like low like it has a low v-neck sort of so I can like wear my necklace and like it won't be like on top of like my t-shirt. I went to Abercrombie yesterday cause I needed to do an exchange, but I did go with my boyfriend and if you guys don't know, my boyfriend does work at Abercrombie. So he has a pretty nice discount. So I ended up buying another t-shirt. It's the same ones that I showed at my like prep for junior year vlog, which if you haven't seen, definitely check it out. So it's just this t-shirt. It's called the skimming tea from their a and f essentials 
I got it in black and white originally, but like these t-shirts, they're so nice and they're so easy to just like put on like in a pair of jeans and go. I mostly wanted these t-shirts for Pilates cause they're all like, they're also really easy just to put on for Pilates and they're also very light and breathable. But yeah, I just got it in this gray color. It's super cute. It's just something basic, nothing crazy. And it was really cheap. I did get this in a size medium. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you guys that I'm going to do some work on my laptop right now because I have a lot of shit to do for school. School literally starts on Wednesday, so we got a lot of prepping to do. I already did a lot of stuff on my Notion, but I just wanna like read through my syllabus for all of my classes, at least the ones that have already been posted on Canvas and literally put every single assignment on. That's what I did last semester and it really helped. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then I'm probably gonna head in the shower soon because I have not showered yet. But yeah, after I shower, we'll get ready, get dressed, and go to Boston. Rolling, rolling, how many more shots until you're rolling? We just need a face to face. You can pick the time and the place. You will spend some time away. It is time to get ready. I already have my outfit on, and I didn't wash my hair because I had already washed it yesterday. So she's nice and fresh and the curls they look pretty good so i'm gonna put my hair back though because i do not want my hair to be in the way i'm not gonna do much makeup only because the venue we're going to today it is outside which i'm so excited we're going to the pavilion which is in the seaport district i've been to that venue once and honestly i love it it is so open and big and it's right by the water. It is so beautiful. I love it. I went there two years ago to see Big Time Rush actually, which was so fun. So I'm really excited to go back, but it does get hot there because there's so many people there. So I'm not gonna do too much. I'm really just gonna do like blush, do my eyebrows, mascara, and like call it, call it a look. I've never actually driven there before because when I went to see Big Time Rush, I went with my siblings and my brother's girlfriend and my brother ended up driving. So I don't really know how to get there. So we're gonna GPS the whole way. I normally don't GPS to Boston anymore because I usually go to the same place. Usually whenever we have a concert, we go to the garden or we go to Fenway. And I've been to so many concerts in Boston to the point where like, I don't need to GPS anymore, but today we have to. But yeah, I'm so excited to see young Miko today. Haven't seen her in a year because a year ago, I saw her open for Carol G, which if you haven't seen that vlog, definitely check it out. I've been seeing so many videos on TikTok of her concert and I'm just like, I'm really looking forward to it, honestly. I'm just so happy for her because she i don't know if the boston show completely sold out but it's a huge venue and so the fact that there's gonna be so many people there is crazy like yeah she performed at gillette but she was just an opener this time she's the main act so it's just like it's just really exciting but on another note i kind of said this earlier in the vlog but i start my junior year of college on wednesday which is wild I only have two more years of undergrad and then I'm done with college and I get my bachelor's, which is like insane because I was actually talking about this with a friend not too long ago that in like literally like three years, we have to get big girl jobs. I'm not ready for a big girl job. I don't know, like corporate America terrifies me. I The reason why I want to go into medicine is to kind of avoid corporate America, but I feel like I don't know, there's not a lot of ways to really avoid it, even in medicine. I don't know, I feel like if I am gonna do a nine to five, I wanna do it for like a job that I believe in, for something that I do believe in, rather than like, I don't know, sell something that I really don't believe in. I believe in medicine, so. I have kind of a lot of questions actually on what specifically my major is, and I am a biology major. I don't have a minor though, cause honestly, I don't have time for a minor. I switched my major, I feel like so late in my college career. I mean, technically it wasn't late, but it kind of feels like it was. And so my schedule for the rest of my college time is very packed. 
So I don't really have time for a minor, but if I were to minor in something, I would probably minor either in forensics or in Spanish. I just think forensics is interesting. And when I initially went to college, I actually went for criminology and I minored in bio because the school I went to didn't have like a forensics minor or anything. I still think the idea of like solving crime in like science is cool, like the science part of it, but I don't know. I don't really want to do that for the rest of my life. So, but I think it'd be a cool thing. I think post-grad, I do want to get my medical assistant certification, but still kind of don't really know. But this semester, I will have a better idea of what I want to do with my career. I am taking this like career guiding class that you're supposed to take as a freshman, but because I transferred and also changed my major, there wasn't enough space in the classes last semester. So I'm just taking it this semester. And then I'm gonna take it again next year because there's one for freshman year and then one for your senior year. So it should be interesting. But yeah, I'm like excited about this year, but I'm also really nervous because my plate is pretty loaded <laughs> for this semester and honestly for the rest of my time at school. Also for my lips, I am just using the Rare Beauty lip liner. This is in the shade Worthy. I love the Rare Beauty lip liners. They're literally so easy to use. A lot of people say that like the lip liners that sharpen are usually better, but I, I just love this one. Like I love this one more than a Charlotte Tilbury one, honestly. And like, I have the Charlotte Tilbury one. So like I can attest, like they're just so, they're so easy to use. And I've had this for a while. So it has lasted me like a good amount of time. Like, I don't know, it just makes my lips look a little more full. And then I'm gonna use just the Rare Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Humble, but I do wanna get the shade Worthy just so the lip liner and the lipstick do match. Cause this is like a little paler than the lip liner, which like is fine, but I personally don't love the look, but we make it work. And then for gloss, I'm just gonna use the CoverGirl Yummy Gloss. I've been loving using this gloss or the Road Peptide Lip Tint. I recently got that and I honestly, I understand the hype. Like it's really, it's really good. Like she's really pretty. But today we're just gonna use this. And that's pretty much it for all my makeup. I'm just gonna set the blush. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray that I always use. Yeah, she's cute. I'm gonna quickly show you guys my outfit and then we have to head out. So this is what the outfit is looking like. I got this two-piece set a while ago, but I haven't actually worn it out yet. So I'm excited to wear it today. It is from Princess Polly. If you guys wanna shop, you can use the link in my bio and you do get 20% off your purchase. But yeah, it's super cute. I love it. I like been wanting to wear it, but I haven't had an excuse to wear it. But today we have an excuse. I did get it in a size six and I'm normally a size eight, but the size six, it fits fine. I don't have shoes on right now because I'm gonna put on my boots literally as we're leaving because I'm wearing my Steve Madden boots that I got for my birthday, so. And then I'm bringing this bag, um, which is also from Princess Polly, but I kind of made it a shoulder bag because I love the gold detail, but it is a crossbody and I don't do a crossbody. So I made it a shoulder bag. And it's so cute. Like, it's really tiny. And the venue that we're going to, the pavilion, they either only take clear bags or tiny bags like this one. So we're gonna bring her. But yeah, this is what we're looking like under the sun. It's kind of sad. The sun is starting to set like earlier and earlier every day, which makes me like, it makes me sad because it kind of, it genuinely means that summer is like actually over and then the days are starting to get shorter, which sucks. Like it doesn't set at like 8 p.m. anymore. Like that sucks. It starts setting at like, it's almost six and it's starting to set. But yeah, I'm gonna wait for my sister to be ready and then we're gonna head out. Very extroverted. 
because I'm with my people. Thank you. 